Time has accelerated. Time has left the gentle ebb and flow of gene transfer and adaptation that characterizes biological evolution. And instead, historical time is generated. No one of us, I think, can imagine that history could go on for another thousand years. I mean, what would it look like at the current rate of population growth, spread of epidemic disease, rate of invention, connectivity, depletion of resources, the atmosphere? It is impossible to conceive of another thousand years of human history. Well, I believe that we are in the most interesting time in human history. I mean, other times thought they were it. They're wrong. This is it. <laughs> you know, what we do in the next 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 years will make the difference between whether we grow as a planetary civilization or whether we just are at the end of it. I, I think we're seeing examples of this as the systems of nature uh, break down around us, unprecedented uh, changes in weather patterns, hurricanes, earthquakes, fires, uh, and entire cities uh, are decimated and we have to draw upon the strengths of one another. It's teaching us about cooperation. And it's about a cooperation that transcends heritage and bloodlines and borders, um, income levels, religion, the color of our skin. We are in the middle, in the very middle of the cycle of the prophecies. We're in the very middle of war and there's increasing war in the coming years. Countries that are not even involved in any conflict today will be drawn into conflict. The shamans are coming together with their prayers that this does not happen. I'm convinced that there is something going on here and that the, the Maya probably through their visionary um, capabilities using sacred plants and other shamanic techniques were able to look into the future and that that's what um, governed their um, timing of their end point in their calendar. From the astrological point of view or the astronomic point of view, there it's, it's uh, a very significant date, right? I mean, there are certainly all these alignments and, you know, the center of the galaxy and... We see, really, the struggle for our future today and it's not between East and West, or North and South, or capitalism and socialism, or religious and secular. It's between partnership and domination. We call on the heavens, we call on the mountains, we call on the earth, and we blow our prayers, and we surrender to the wind. Whatever may come is what comes. One of the things that I see is that we, we seem to be coming up to a moment a moment in time where these secrets are going to be revealed. In that time, we don't know how long these secrets and this information, this consciousness is going to be available. My sense is it could be a very short period of time. So this is all going to come up, so people are going to lock onto it, and then it's going to fade away. There will, however, also be continuing the human spirit purified by this event. And I assure you, it's not our fault. It's nobody's fault. It is simply the way nature is. When nature unfolds in the life of a conscious species, at this stage, it can be very, very hard. All of our gods, all of our beliefs, all of our prayers, all of that, by the end of this event, will have been left behind. <laughs> I do believe powerfully in the potential of, uh, of who we are, of humankind, of our species, um, of our truest nature, which I believe is a, a peaceful and benevolent nature. And I also believe that, when, that we are a species of survivors. And when pushed to the limits and the extremes uh, of what we experienced in our lives, that we betray our truest nature. Beings lived like that for probably a half a million years with poetry, with dance, with mathematics, with magic, with story, with humor, but not with the paralyzing and toxic artifacts of the late evolving machine worshiping linear phonetic alphabet tight ass straight culture that we are a part of.